Shall we be off then? All right, everyone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to the uh, solo run of uh, what I would do based on kind of what I've learned. So as you'll notice here, we have an entire tree filled out. Uh, we have a couple of items down here and uh, we have decks up. We have uh, the Venus Claw. We're running a bunch of things. We picked up a bunch of blood coats. So I'll kind of recap uh, what I would do to prepare for the um, for the uh, dried up trenches here. So from the assassin blood code that we pick up in the uh, Howling Pit, we pick up Sharpen Fangs, Overdrive, Numbing Mark, and Night Stalker, as uh, those will be very useful in the um, uh, dried up trenches. Then we pick up uh, um, Mercury from Coco back at home base, and we uh, uh, master by MJ109's uh, lightning weapon. Since we had 10 of them, we pick up lightning weapon. And from Prometheus, we pick up flame weapon. Uh, that's also five MJ109s. We had 10, so we pick up and master both of those. Then from uh, Hunter, we watch uh, Vestige um, 2 from uh, from the from Kevin's blood code here, and we pick up Dex up uh, for the caster blood code to enable us to use the Venus Claw. Then um, what uh, we also did last time in the Howling Pit, we picked up Venom Mark, and there's nothing really else um, of interest at this point uh, that we should be going for. Um, but uh, it's all about getting the Venus Claw because uh, with Sharpened Fangs we have a 336 drain attack uh, as well as a 316 uh, dark uh, value that we have here for uh, Bloodshot and Blazing Roar. Um, that also is important to have the uh, caster. Even though the Ranger is a better blood code overall, you see all these pluses, 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 pluses. Uh, better stats here, except in mind, but that doesn't matter. Uh, but the real reason we want to go for Caster is here, uh, Caster has a higher i cap at 54, but it also puts us with the Sunset Sword and the uh, Venus Claw directly at uh, 48 out of 98 pounds, which gives us quick. Uh, so we have one more pound to spare here, so we could go to 49 pounds and uh, still be quick. Uh, so if you have the uh, pre-order, I would definitely recommend going for the Crimson Longsword, even though it has a little bit less damage. Um, but uh, the Sunset Sword, for what we're running right now, currently has the highest damage per bar of stamina that we can get to, followed by the uh, Lost Bayonet. These two are the highest damage weapons uh, that we can earn right now um, uh, at this point in the game for one-handed, uh, quick dodging kind of uh, items. So uh, we'll run through the... Um, through the dried up trenches here and as you see we have nothing here in this area and uh, so the idea will be to uh, uh, since the enemies through here are weak to blood and lightning we will be applying lightning where possible and if we need to switch to a bayonet we have ranged impact on deck uh, and for the um, despot we will be running poison and numbing and uh, stun in order to uh, help us take him down uh, very quickly and effectively uh, so let's go for lightning weapon as uh, uh, these guys are weak to lightning and slash. Um, however, the fact is, is that we want to be going for as many backstabs as possible. So here uh, we need a fortitude of C, which if we go for hunter, if we go for the hunter blood code, uh, we would be using the bayonet as that would get us quick mobility and we could use, um, uh, we could use, uh, what is this, night stalker. Uh, in fact, let's do that so we can uh, see ourselves. I mean, it's basically the exact same thing. It's just a little bit different uh, u utilizing a one-handed sword as opposed to the bayonet. But, uh, whoops. Oops. We definitely uh, screwed that up uh, pretty bad there. We were supposed to uh, poke him off the edge, but uh, that didn't happen. So, oh well. We will uh, just uh, move on like this. Okay, and uh, let's go for Night Stalker. Now this thing lasts a very long time, uh, so it's uh, it's okay to use it. Okay, and we can uh, hit him with a uh, blast there uh, from all five shots of our bayonet as the charge attack shoots five bullets, and uh, they all do very very good damage. And we'll ba uh, continue to backstab uh, as many folks as we can. Uh, simply because uh, it does really, really good damage uh, for, I mean, it's basically a one-shot 
on every single enemy that we come across, and there's no real reason to uh, not go for it. Okay, so uh, running through the dried up trenches here, there's really nothing uh, of interest or importance that we need to go for, um, but uh, we will just kind of uh, make our way through uh, slowly and effectively. There we go. We'll miss him, and we'll definitely go for a backstab. And see, uh, Big Red doesn't know what happened, uh, so that's very, very good, as uh, we can do a couple of gifts here. Okay, and he's going to go down there. That's fine with me. I'm fine with that. And this guy. So uh, Night Stalker definitely allows us the uh, capacity here to sneak up on people and, uh, and uh, do pretty good damage uh, no matter what we're doing, even though we are kind of, uh, you know... Uh, having pretty weak weapons and such, um, it's really, really good to be able to um, uh, attack the enemy on our terms. Okay, now we gotta get this guy on a backstab. There we go. And that big red that went down the uh, lower way, um, he he won't be able to get us until uh, if he uh, gets to a point where these paths meet, uh, then we're kind of in trouble. Okay, and we'll shoot him. And one more, and we'll give him a, a little bit of slash there. So the uh, um, the devour bayonet that we uh, picked up in the den of uh, darkness, I believe, or den of the dead. Uh, this is the first weapon, that, or first and second weapon that you come to that have a uh, uh, chrome on them. Now it's not important for us as uh, we we don't need it, um, but if we wanted to. Um, we could make use of it to get more more Icor back, but it does um, it does uh, oops okay it does uh, crush damage, so that's uh, kind of a problem. Oops okay so that uh, little little fellow was getting in the way there uh, as he finally uh, hit the trigger point. I thought he was gonna come down earlier, but he didn't. Uh, so we'll have to go back. Uh, so he uh, ruined all my plans there, as uh, he kind of got in the way completely, and uh, I couldn't uh, tell what uh, who was coming after us. Okay, so again, we'll go for uh, slashes on these fellas, and since we now have access to Lightning Slash, uh, we need Lightning Blood, but we don't have access to Blood Weapon yet, um, so it's okay. There we go, and now we finally got him to go down. Uh, but it's really good that we now have access to uh, a couple different elementals and elemental weapons and uh, it's uh, it's really really good to um, to be able to use those at the different places than we uh, normally would have access to them uh, so if I had my way though I would go for execution which you get from Hades uh, at the end of the game uh, so there's no way that we can uh, go for it here but uh, that would be um, my ideal choice of, uh, of damage through here, would be obviously blood. Okay. Now that guy, uh, again, he doesn't see us, so it's good to uh, kill this fellow first, and go for a blazing roar on this fellow, and we'll go ahead and uh, shoot him down. Okay. Whoops. Okay, there he goes off the edge, so we get some uh, uh, haze for him which is nice. Now this fella, if he doesn't see us, uh, we might be able to get a backstab here. Okay, no backstab. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Oops. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, if you uh, miss the backstab with this uh, setup, it uh, definitely ruins your day. And uh, that's why it's kind of a uh, uh, a, uh, f a fully realized set of uh, how how much uh, do you know about the game, and uh, this is definitely not something that uh, first timers would definitely be going for. Um, but uh, if you have the ability to, and you, and you're up for the challenge, uh, I would definitely say that this is a you know extremely high risk, high reward uh, kind of style. Uh, simply because of uh, the fact that uh, everything's basically a one-shot, except for the big reds at this point, um, which is great because uh, every enemy poses a serious threat. Um, not an incredibly uh, large threat, um, but it definitely 
is is a, a considerable enough threat that we have to take it seriously. Okay. And now we head on up here. Oh, I can't see because the camera is uh, messing me up as soon as we get close to the big red. He, uh, he definitely makes us uh, unable to see what we're doing. So we took it to the face there again. And that is the uh, problem with the uh, solo runs is that there is no room for error uh, because the game will punish you uh, exceptionally hard and there's there's no w no way that you can uh, um, have any forgiveness for doing something wrong and see here we got the backstab so we will be uh, we will be blessed with uh, um, really good damage here and uh, no no issues at all okay so let's get back to where we were going before and so as you can tell that as soon as we um, uh, play correctly uh, everybody just kind of falls at, at our feet and uh, it's no problem and okay whoops let's go for a launch Whoop. let's go for a launch and that should kill good okay so we used uh, two heals so far there we go there's number two and uh, it's not uh, looking in our favor but uh, we're definitely going to be able to um, take out these enemies uh, easily and effectively and as you see uh, we definitely have um, all the uh, i -Core we could want and uh, we don't really have uh, too many issues um, having having more i -Core than than necessary okay where's this big guy no i want him okay we'll go for a blazing roar okay there we go and we'll shoot him good okay so taking these guys out at a distance is a uh, almost a must there we go Okay, and can I get the other big red to come over here? Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. And one more. There we go. Okay, now this big red, uh, we will want to come down. So we will encourage him to come down uh, without the shotgunner. And we will uh, encourage him to come over this way where it's uh, most dangerous for us. Oops. Okay, now I didn't want to um, upset the shotgunner over there so we will leave him be until we can uh, kind of sneak up on him from the side here as he uh, definitely uh, one shots us okay so let's give him a blazing roar there we go so now the jokes on him and uh, we can uh, uh, continue on our way here and uh, go for a backstab on this fellow or not there we go and since we have night stalker still active um, we're not alerting enemies uh, with with kind of an early warning that uh, we're coming up on them, so it's uh, it's very good to uh, be able to um, uh, sneak up on the enemies uh, and uh, get that backstab in, as we have uh, exceptional damage on backstabs uh, because of sharpened fangs. It uh, really really gives us a big bonus here, uh, so we're we're able to utilize it uh, to a really really good extent, and we'll go for Night Stalker. Uh, simply because we don't want this guy uh, waking up earlier than he needs to. Okay, and uh, there you see, uh, it uh, it uh, definitely is in our interest because he will uh, either push us off the edge or he will uh, one shot us uh, no matter what. Okay, so here we are. Now we had a little bit of uh, of a rough start there, um, which is really unfortunate, but uh, that's kind of what it is but the dried up trenches doesn't really offer you anything in the way of um of uh extra items or uh blood codes or these kinds of things that are super duper uh necessary to your adventuring in vain but uh you know there's there's um uh there's definitely a bunch of enemies in here that are extremely dangerous so uh it's in your best interest to just uh get through here as quickly as possible and get to the death spot and take him on and uh and call it good uh from from there okay so let's see here if we can okay we can see this thing okay and we want to kill that one first and if we can uh oh it sees us first oh and this fella's coming over okay so we'll go for a blazing roar and kill him quick okay and we'll run around this fella oh 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh huh. And we gotta try and get a backstab on this fella. Or or die. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, that was the wrong time to push the uh, dodge button. So as you can see, uh, having a short range bayonet is uh, absolutely uh, horrible. But uh, we can switch that for the sunset bayonet and that will give us a little bit more range um, and a little bit less power, but it definitely gives us uh, more range that we can operate under. Uh, so you can see that uh, even though we, we have damage potential and we have power, uh, we definitely are not uh, invincible by any stretch of the imagination, and every enemy still poses um, a big threat to us. Okay. And he just... okay. That was uh, weird, and this guy came out from somewhere. Okay, so we got all kinds of enemies here uh, out of order, which is kind of strange, but uh, it's what it is. See, now we can shoot at a really good distance here and uh, now we should be able to uh, pick up these uh, pick up these uh, fellas here okay there we go okay yes 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 oh boy let's go ahead and heal and I don't know if we can hit that thing okay we can that uh, that goes for a kill because it has a um, a very short, quick, fast uh, damage attack. This guy's on to us. Those guys are on to us. Uh, everybody's oh boy, he's shooting at us. Uh, that is not good at all. Okay, so this fellow we want to backstab as he will uh, ruin our day with a shotgun blast to the face. Uh, so we'll take care of him and we get some blood cartridges. Now that is another thing that we did with Coco uh, back at home base, was we now have access to blood cartridges, uh, so we definitely go for uh, those, as the despot is weak to blood, um, and so is everybody else in here, but we definitely want to uh, have as many blood cartridges as we can uh, going into the fight here uh, with the despot. There we go. Okay, now the best order of the day is to run directly to the right, uh, around uh, this fella here and uh, go for a whoops okay let's back up as he uh, uh, there's no real reason to fight him or do anything with him but simply just uh, get around him and get away okay now the despot takes uh, damage to all things he can be stunned inhibited he can be uh, poisoned, uh, flame, uh, lightning, everything, but he takes exceptional uh, damage, like exceptional damage to blood attacks or uh, drain attacks. Um, so, but uh, what we what we're going for here, uh, there's no way that we can uh, go for uh, any blood except in our blood cartridges. Um, so, in uh, we can either go for more damage in poison or we can go for uh, numbing mark in stun. But since we we don't need um, uh, Night Stalker to sneak up on enemies. We will go for uh, these so we can have uh, a lot of damage on him. And uh, we will go for, um, as you see here, uh, we want to be quick with a one-handed sword um, because we won't really be shooting uh, him uh, by any means. Uh, there's, there's really no reason uh, to shoot, but we'll have it anyway since we have the slot open. And uh, we will be running... Um, let's see, he will do blood damage to us, uh, if we're ranger, um, is this better? No, this is worse in blood, so, uh, we will stay, uh, with the caster, and, uh, we will go for the one-handed kind of build-up stun and everything here on, on this, on this big boy. Okay, so, uh, let's see here, uh, we will go for blood cartridges, for sure, and we'll go for poison and all the things. Okay. And uh, he is uh, he is pretty rough uh, here on regular game, um, as uh, he d has a, a whole arena sweeps in how he goes about, um, you know, getting his damage onto the player. But uh, since we can stun and poison him, uh, we will uh, be going for that, and we will be going for uh, our uh, our uh, damage here. Let's go for another blood cartridge. Oh, here comes uh, this fella. 
So we will uh, um, dodge out of the way. Oh, okay. And let's... Oh boy. I can't see what's going on here. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, let's... Oh, okay. So as you can see there, uh, <laughs> you can get ganged up on uh, very, very quickly. And uh, it's absolutely uh, horrible. But as you can see there, the uh, stun buildup on him is um, is not very good at all. Uh, and we're not going to be doing this, so uh, stamina boost will give us one extra um, one extra swing of the sword. Okay, and our haze is over in the corner. And uh, you can see that uh, from that last run, uh, we did have some some good damage on him, uh, but it was not uh, exceptional by any means. So we'll take this out for now, uh, just to give us uh, a fighting chance against this fella. Okay, and he's going to bring another uh, obelisk in here. Okay, and we'll dodge that. Go ahead and get some uh, strikes in here. Okay, and he does jump around quite a bit. Uh, so, we, whoops, so we are going to need to uh, watch ourselves here. Okay, let's go ahead and back up and heal. Whoops. Okay. Now you can see that uh, our uh, our elements uh, definitely help us out. So we will go for that, and we'll go for a couple of items here on him. Okay. Okay. Okay, and let's uh, go for more gifts on him. Oh. I guess we're up against the wall here. Nice of him to uh, let us know. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is just like the the uh, oh uh, the uh, executioner fight. It just uh, takes some finessing. Oh. And uh, there you go. You can tell again that uh, the, these fights. Uh, at, uh, you know, running solo through here, it just uh, absolutely is bonkers how the game uh, doesn't give you the uh, gifts that you need to annihilate these fellas uh, early on in the game. They give it to you uh, very, 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 very late game, uh, so that way your second playthrough can be just as hard as uh, your first playthrough. How nice. Uh, okay. Let's uh, head on over here and pick up our haze as uh, that's 11,000 here at the beginning of the game. That's a lot. What? I guess he hit me. Where is he? I don't even know where he's at. There we go. Now, if you can poison him, it uh, definitely helps, but uh, we don't have a, a lot of chance to uh, strike against him here as we are constantly um, uh, out of uh, stamina. So let's go for a st uh, Venom Cartridge, as he's very close to uh, being poisoned, and that will help us uh, considerably. Okay. Okay. Let's go for this thing. Now he's uh, constantly taking damage here, which is very good. Okay, let's hit him with a, a blood item. Oh, we're up against the wall. That's not good. Okay. Now you can see that the uh, stun and uh, venom uh, stay on him uh, for a long time. So if we continue to get the build up here, maybe we can uh, even get him stunned and uh, and get him poisoned again. Okay, he's poisoned again. Okay, and there he's stunned. That's even better. And we'll go for a, a blazing roar. Let's back up. Oh, I was going to say we need to back up here. So we'll go for a uh, heal. Okay. And we'll go for some attacks here to get some I core back. And we got to get our buffs going and then watch out because he's going to uh, do a ton of uh, damage here to us. So as you can see, the. Uh, the uh, oh boy. The damage that we can do is uh, not considerable by any means, but uh, we just have to play exceptionally patient. Okay. Now he, he will uh, kill us uh, with one hit, 
of anything that uh, he hits us with. So we have to be exceptionally careful. Uh, even this thing. Okay. Now he's going to do a full full arena jump uh, if he gets close to us. Okay. Whoops. And oh, we see there we got uh, one, two. Okay, let's heal. And he will go for this thing, which is uh, very dangerous. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. And we're dead. Oh. I thought we had enough time, but apparently not. Uh, so you can see that uh, with these early bosses, what I was going to say is that poison uh, definitely helps you um, take the fight to these uh, to these early bosses uh, because the damage um, is uh, is fairly good over time uh, because these guys take a, a pretty long dot. Uh, but as now we have no poison, no venom cartridges, uh, we only have. Uh, stun and blood um, we have to uh, take our time here okay so uh, uh, if we go for yeah let's go for the bayonet and uh, we will uh, be able to do some uh, slashing and uh, uh, shots on him okay okay and here we go and let's go get our haze again and we turn around and hit this thing good Okay, and one, two, okay, and we have to constantly stay underneath him to uh, apply these uh, attacks to get him poisoned, uh, hopefully, and uh, we'll get him, uh, okay, we're out of uh, poison there, that's bad, let's go for a shot, 451 is pretty bad damage, but uh, that's what it is. Okay, let's go for a Blazing Roar. There we go. That's good. That's good damage. Okay, now he's going to bring up his uh, little friends here. Uh, back up. Okay, there we go. And let's go for uh, bees and poison and stun. There we go. Okay. That's fine if it's right here because it's directly next to this fella. Okay, and one more, and he's poisoned, and this thing we need to get rid of, okay, okay, now he's still, uh, he's still taking damage, oops, and we are dead, uh, so, yeah, <laughs> uh, the despot, he's like, uh, one of the simplest bosses, um, in your second playthrough, as you get access to Dusk Edge and Execution, and some pretty good dark uh, veils, uh, but here in the first playthrough, uh, he definitely uh, poses a threat in a big way. Okay, and uh, let's uh, head on in. Pick up our haze here. Okay, let's kill this thing quick. What? Okay. And you can see there we're out of stamina, so we'll go ahead and heal. Okay. Now we're uh, out of uh, poison here and stun, uh, so we will uh, stick underneath his feet here, go for some damage here. Oh boy. Okay, good. Go for some lightning. Okay, and let's uh, go underneath his feet again. Now, uh, if you stay under his feet, uh, mostly, uh, he won't uh, be able to hit you but uh, that changes in the second phase. Okay. Let's go for a shot. Good. And now we can get him poisoned at least, I hope. There we go. Okay. And let's go for stun. Okay. Okay. And as you see, the stun buildup is much, uh, much, much lower than the uh, um, poison buildup. Build Let's go for some shots. Oops. Oop. Okay, now he's in phase two. So we're going to go ahead and heal up and get our things going here. Let's get some I-Core back. 
Okay. And uh, let's spin the wind. Yep. Oh boy. Oh, yep. And as you see there, he bashes us with the hilt of his uh, of his uh, axe. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal. And he's gonna hit us. Yep. No, no. Ugh. Oh. <sighs> the timings. It's all about, it's just all about timing. So if you get the good timing run, uh, then you get a good win. If you don't get a good timing run, then you get a, a horrible death loop. Okay. Uh, which is absolutely the case that we're in right now. Um, and as we have no other recourse, uh, we just have to simply uh, finish him out. Uh, so let's go back to the one-handed sword as we can get a uh, couple more attacks off here. Uh, okay. And uh, let's wait on the poison and such until uh, after the obelisk appears. Okay. 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 And let's get some stamina back here. And as you see in uh, the beginning of the game here, uh, that is our uh, biggest problem, is uh, waiting for stamina all the time. And there's no way to uh, mitigate that at all. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay, and we're still getting stun build up on him. Okay. And there's uh, no, no uh, chance here to get him poisoned either. Oh, actually, we might be able to. Okay. Okay, let's get our stamina back here. Good, he's poisoned now. Okay. Oh, come on. Ooh, we put it right through my chest. Wow, that was uh, pretty rough. Let's drink some water. So really, when you play a first solo run, uh, it's absolutely ridiculous how, um, how uh, kind of difficult the game becomes. And then um, when you play with a partner, uh, the game kind of rolls over and uh, dies. It's, it's kind of interesting. Um, but uh, I would never do a solo run if I wasn't asked oh, if I wasn't asked for it simply because uh, the pain of it is uh, just absolutely bonkers. Okay. Um, but I hope, uh, I hope it does give some good insight as to how, uh, you know, what things to pick up at, at what times. Um, and even though, uh, and even though uh, we have extra damage out of our uh, gifts uh, from uh, simply having the, um, having the, uh, uh, all these extra uh, blood codes and everything, it still doesn't matter. As, uh, as we definitely need to, um, uh, be damaging the enemy at all kinds of different ways at uh, different times. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. And uh, let's go for Venom. Oh, good grief. And you can see without the uh, element buffs, uh, we definitely have a hard time uh, doing good damage. Okay. Uh-huh. We'll get, uh, hopefully get him poisoned here in the next uh, three or four strikes. There we go. And let's go for some of this and this. And go for a blazing roar. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. That second swing uh, of, a, of a... When he swipes around, uh, that's just... It's uh, when you're running so low on stamina. Uh, again, it's just like the executioner fight. It's uh, a very, very long, drawn-out, nonsensical, uh, <laughs> nonsensical fight because uh, you're just uh, at the mercy of, of a stamina bar. Whereas you you are at the mercy of a stamina bar later on in the game, but uh, not to this extent because uh, you have the ability to uh, mitigate uh, your stamina. Okay. Okay, and let's go for 
uh, um, uh, poison here in a second. There we go. Okay, let's go for a blazing roar. Whoops. Uh, that was not good. As uh, we're wasting our venom here. And I can't see anything. Let's go ahead and heal. And uh, I don't think we're going to get him poisoned now. Which is really, really bad that we spent that high core. And uh, we're not even going to get a return. Okay. Okay, let's go for a Blazing Roar. Okay. I guess we'll go for a Stun. And uh, this is not going to happen unless he goes down. Okay, go for a Blazing Roar. Now that uh, is nice when we uh, get the chance to get focused because it gives us an entire other bar of stamina. Good. Okay. And let's go for Venom. Okay, come on, stamina. Good. And we'll go for a, a stun cartridge and get that build up. There we go. We'll go for a Blazing Roar. And this. Okay. And we'll go for our uh, buffs here. Okay, come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, we'll hit him with a couple of things there. There we go. Oh, and let's back up. And uh, he's going to go for... Yep. And we'll go for a Blazing Roar. Oh, we're too far away. Okay, uh, yep, yep. Oh, that, that hilt bash. If you're uh, directly underneath him, is uh, as you can see, the first uh, hit stuns you and takes most of your health, and the second hit kills you. So it's uh, as soon as you're underneath him uh, in the second phase, it's pretty much a death sentence. Uh, as uh, as running this solo is a death sentence. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, where is he? There we go. And we're only doing 200 damage to someone that has like 40,000 HP. So this is kind of a <laughs> just a crazy, uh, crazy way to go about this. Let's go for poison. Okay. Now he's down, but uh, we gotta take care of this thing. Okay. Now we will have uh, plenty of more uh, chances to uh, dodge him and such, but uh, we would like to get him poisoned here. There we go. I'll take that. There we go. Let's go for a blazing roar then, if he's going to present himself there. Go for some fire damage here. Okay. Oh. Okay, we'll go for stun and lightning. Okay. And as you see there, uh, we only get eight strikes uh, for a full uh, bar of stamina, uh, which is not good. Uh, we definitely need more than that, but. Uh, that's all we can afford. Okay, and uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, we're almost. Uh, oh no! Oh no! No no no! Okay, let's uh, let's back up. Oh come on, the AOE of his axe slam. <sighs> so yeah, uh, in my opinion, this guy is actually harder than the. Um, uh, harder than the uh, Executioner in the first uh, run of the game here, uh, simply because he uh, he has a bunch of AOE nonsense that he goes for, and uh, and having uh, no stamina available to the player uh, definitely makes for a a very very problematic way to uh, go about this. Oops, that was uh, not what I wanted to have happen. Okay. Oh, good grief. 
And now that we're busy with this idiot, uh, the big fella's gonna kill us. Yep. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoy death loops. Uh, so, I wonder if anybody knows any jokes as uh, we're just uh, constantly in the crazy death loop here. So, uh, <laughs> if you got a joke, uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, we'll see if we can get through here. Uh, a joke would be uh, actually doing well uh, as uh, I play through here. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Maybe I shouldn't talk about what I'm doing. Uh, maybe I should just do the thing. I don't know. Will that make a difference? Probably not. Okay, let's go for Venom. Hmm. Okay, we're out of stamina. We're not gonna get him stunned. Okay. There we go. Now, as you see, stun does not uh, last very long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal here. Come on. I was dodging. Okay. You're gonna jump. He's gonna wait for me to do something. Yep. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness. Just as Venom Mark comes off cooldown. Oh man. So the um, the poison definitely makes a uh, a huge difference in fighting this guy, as it uh, as you're dodging around, and that that is most of the time uh, what what it takes to uh, uh, damage these fellas is uh, just simply uh, outlasting them uh, with your puny little stamina bar, and uh, it's kind of annoying. Okay. Oh, good grief! See, we're we're almost dead. And. Oh, and we are dead by an explosion of the <laughs> obelisk. Oh my goodness. So this is why the uh, dried up trenches is not particularly hard. Uh, I think we had like one death coming down here. And then we had like 20 uh, right in a row just uh, fighting this fella. Uh, but as soon as you add a partner, uh, this just kind of falls apart. Uh, which is really nice. Um, but... Uh, you know, it uh, is a completely different game. It's no longer Code Vein. It's more like uh, just a completely uh, different kind of a game. And not one I particularly enjoy, as uh, the game is not meant to be hard just because uh, you're doing no damage, but the game is meant to be hard because of uh, technique and such. Okay. Now we'll uh, let his poison uh, take effect there. Okay, we'll go for a blazing roar here. Okay, great. Now he's down. That's not what we wanted. But it's okay. Okay. Now he's gonna come off of, uh, of uh, cooldown here and he's gonna transition. 
and uh, we're not going to have any stamina to continue this. Okay, let's go for a stun cartridge. Get that build up. And let's go for poison now. Okay. And we need uh, several more uh, uh, attacks here. There we go. Now he's poisoned. Let's back up as much as we can. Okay. Oh, good grief. Now if we hide over here, uh, he won't be able to uh, get to us as easily. Okay. Now see see how much damage he's taking uh, uh, as a poison. Yep, that's very good. Okay. Okay, and now we can go towards him. Get some slashes in here. Okay. Yeah, that right there, that sweep, uh, that is extremely dangerous. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, yep, 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 there's that sweep. See, and I was underneath him, and so he, he decided to uh, take advantage of that. Okay, let's go for a blazing roar. Good. Let's back up. Okay, let's go ahead and heal now that we have some distance. Okay, good. That we can dodge. Oh boy. Yep, we don't want any part of that. Is that going to come backwards? It does come backwards. Okay. Okay. And uh, one more blazing roar. Nope. Oh. Just. <sighs> Not enough. The battle of attrition is getting to me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Here we go for the 14,000th and 529th and 50th time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And see, if we had something like tirelessness, uh, we could um, absolutely uh, do very, very well, as we would be able to um, get our uh, stamina back very, very quickly, which would be great. But... Uh, Oops. Okay. And he's uh, taking good damage from uh, from our poison, so we'll go for stun now. Okay. Let's go for a blazing roar. And it's nice that uh, oops, he doesn't have a uh, a uh, um, a typing damage uh, preference. He's, uh, you just uh, wail away on him, and uh, this is, I think, kind of why, because uh, can you imagine if he had a resistance to the player? Uh, it would be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we have no more stun. Oh, we're right there. Okay. Now we got to back up here. And let's go for poison. Okay. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> That's how he's going to play it. Oh man. So yeah, this is why the despot is uh, particularly hard. Okay, and uh, we still have, uh, I mean, we, we can take two hits. Uh, so uh, yeah, going an entire run without taking uh, one hit, uh, a completely flawless run, is uh, very hard. Uh, but uh, it's not hard on the uh, uh, new game plus, oh, as you have um, exceptional amounts of uh, gift variety at your disposal. Uh, but in regular game, uh, you have almost uh, no gifts available to you, which is really unfortunate. Whoa. Okay. Okay, let's go for stun. Oh good, and then we can heal, and uh, let's go for more strikes, and we gotta get that stun uh, gauge up as high as possible, before uh, before he goes into phase 2, 
and that will give us uh, time to allow Venomark to come back. Good. Now Venomark, and he should be transitioning here. Good. And now that'll give us time to uh, get him poisoned again. There we go. Okay, let's back up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, now he's taking good poison damage. So that's uh, excellent. Let's get behind him. Let's go for a Blazing Roar. Good. Now I'll probably do a jump. Yep. Yep, there's that Slash. Okay. And we need to get uh, some i Strikes here. So we can get some i back. Okay, Blazing Roar. Okay. And uh, let's back up. There we go. Now that's good. We got a... Uh, bar of stamina and we need to uh, oh no back up back up okay and uh, let's uh, do these okay blazing roar there we go get our stamina back get behind him and get some strikes go for a bloodshot oh boy Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, don't want to be in front of him, as that is when he does his uh, uh, crazy... Uh, oh, that was unfortunate. We need him to uh, definitely come out of the wall there, as I can't be uh, behind him. There we go. And let's go for a blood cartridge. Okay, now he's only last uh, a few seconds. Now I can't see. No, 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 no. Let's heal. And we have more blood cartridges, so that's good. Let's go ahead and heal again. Good. And this thing's coming. So we'll dodge in and the blood cartridge. Okay, now we're behind him. Okay. Now we'll go for a blazing roar. Oh! One more hit. Okay, got him on the kneecap. <sighs> so that's why uh, the despot is <laughs> actually hard. Uh, even though, um, even though if you uh, just straight up uh, run in here with a friend or with a uh, with a partner or something, uh, you can completely annihilate him uh, quickly and very very easily. But uh, when you run it like this, uh, alone, it uh, becomes very, very problematic. Now, if you pick up Darkseeker before uh, doing the Despot, or before doing the Executioner, you can do poison on her and uh, use, um, use uh, uh, blood, uh, blood draining venom. And uh, you can get i back when you fight her. And it's exceptionally useful here in uh, this setup, this section of the game. So uh, I think we're going to cut it there, as this has been plenty of pain for everyone involved. So we'll see you next time.